Hi, so in this problem we are going to find the square root of 100 multiplied by 101 multiplied by 102 multiplied by 103 plus 1. So if we apply the board mass, first we have to multiply all these four numbers and then we have to add 1 and then we have to find the square root of that very big number. So is there any shortcut? I don't know whether you can call it a shortcut or not but it will definitely avoid the handling of big numbers so let me assume that this is equal to x and if i assume 101 as a then this can be written as a minus 1 and this can be written as a plus 1 this will be a plus 2 then plus 1 so x square can be written as a minus 1 multiplied by a multiplied by a plus 1 multiplied by a plus 2 plus 1 a minus 1 multiplied by a plus 1 is a square minus 1 so this can be written as a into a square minus 1 multiplied by a plus 2 plus 1 and if i multiply these two brackets then it can be written as a square multiplied by a is a to the power 3 plus 2a square a multiplied by minus 1 is minus a and 2 multiplied by minus 1 is minus 2 and this plus 1 and if I multiply this a inside this will become a to the power 4 plus 2a cube minus a square minus 2a plus 1 so this is equal to x square and if I want to find the value of x I have to take the square root of this right hand side so x is equal to square root of this which is equal to square root of this complete expression so now let us find the square root yes we will follow Euclid's algorithm or division method of finding the square root so a to the power 4 plus 2 a cube minus a square minus 2 a plus 1 first I'll make groups of two two terms each so this will be the first group and this will be the second group and if you don't remember the division methods you can watch the video in which I'm teaching to find the square root of any given algebraic expression so here I have to write the same term in the divisor and the quotient so that the product of these two terms is either equal or lesser than this but it should be closest to a to the power 4 so a square multiplied by a square is a to the power 4 and if I subtract this will be 0 and now I have to add this a square to this a square so this will be 2 a square and now I'll note down this term so this is 2 a to the power 3 minus a square and now I have to think of a term over here which when multiplied by this will give you the first term of this expression a multiplied by 2a square will give you 2a cube I have to write this plus a here in the divisor also and when I multiply this divisor with this new term in the quotient I'll get 2a cube plus a square now I have to add a so left hand side will become 2a square plus 2a and here if I subtract this will become negative and this will also become negative this will cancel this and this will be minus 2a square and now I have to note down this pair over here so this will be minus 2a plus 1 so here we have minus 2a square that means I have to multiply this by minus 1 and I'll write minus 1 over here also so when I multiply this by minus 1 I'll get minus 2a square minus 2a plus 1 and when I subtract this whole expression will get cancelled by this whole expression so the square root of this is actually equal to a square plus a minus 1 right so let me erase all this so if I substitute the value of a as 101 x will be equal to 101 square plus 101 minus 1 so 101 square you can multiply and find out 101 multiplied by 101 this will be 101 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 2 0 1 so this will be equal to 10,201 and 101 minus 1 is 100 so this will be equal to 10301 10301 so the square root of this big expression will be 10301 see if I multiply 100 by 101 multiplied by 102 multiplied by 103 and now I have to add 1 to it 
this will be such a big number and if you follow the division method of finding the square root there will be one two three four and five groups so you will need at least five steps but if you convert this into expression and then find the square root the solution becomes so much easier so here we have done a smart assumption we have assumed this term as a so this will become a minus 1 and this becomes a plus 1 and we know a minus 1 multiplied by a plus 1 is a square minus 1 and then the multiplication becomes easy so this was one way of solving this problem and for many more interesting videos keep watching math smart subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you will get to know about my new videos so bye bye till then